Now welcome to my little chicken recipe for vegetarians. And if that sounds strange, it's because it's not chicken at all, it's chicken of the woods. We're doing mushrooms, one of the best mushrooms. And I bet you all of you at some point have walked past these things growing on tree trunks. Let's look at them. I've got two chicken of the woods. I've got this one which is super young and fresh and tender. And that's beautiful. This is like prime eating chicken of the woods. And then I've got one here, which is from an older chicken of the woods. Still edible, but um, not as good. This is the one we want to cook. There we go. Now that's my lovely piece of farmhouse bread. I've cut the edges off it, cut the crusts off, and I've popped it in a pan with a clove of squash garlic and a sprig of rosemary and some goose fat. It's the most decadent fried bread. And what I'm really doing here is mushrooms, garlic mushrooms on fried bread. Old school, but this is gonna be the best garlic wild mushrooms ever. Right, back to the main event. While my bread fries, I'm gonna prepare the chicken of the woods. Now I've got my mushroom knife. I'm just gonna brush any stuff off it. So let's take it down here, trim it. Oh, it's so young and tender. Let's take some lovely long slices. Look at that, it looks so it's like chicken breast. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tiny bit more. There's our chicken of the woods prepared. Right, courgette. I'm gonna cut it on the angle, a little bit thin. There we go, it's gonna be ready. And now I've got leek, these bad boys. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the leek down the middle, reach in, grab the little tough bit in the center. Lovely. Okay, clove of garlic. Lovely, here we go. Oh, make sure it soaks up the fat. Okay, there is our beautiful, gorgeous, crispy goose fat and rosemary infused fried bread, a big old lump of butter going in now for the mushrooms. This is such a simple recipe that there really isn't that much left to do. Add the mushroom slices to the butter and begin frying. Then add the courgette and leek, being sure to separate those layers of leaves so they can cook through thoroughly. Finally add the garlic. Now I'm cooking on induction and these Dedetrich induction hobs are stunning. They just have got so much power and they don't have to take up any space. I've got a big one over there, small one here, brilliant. And I'm just going to let all these things cook down. There is something amazing about the colour of this chicken of the woods and it just looks like chicken. It's got that golden outside, white inside. It's got to be the meatiest mushroom of the lot. Okay, a little bit of seasoning. Now some black pepper, loads of black pepper. Now all the vegetables and mushrooms are at the right stage, two minutes of cooking. I'm now gonna add some white wine. Now we're gonna add some double cream. I know it's a bit decadent, but hey, it's gonna be amazing. There we are. Right, now we stir that in. Wine and cream with mushrooms, it's the way to go. Bring it up to heat, let it bubble, and I want to let that get really thick and delicious. Now to finish this off, it's all about fresh basil, and loads of it. And I'm just gonna coarsely chop them up, like so. Oh, hello. This is the final flavor, is fresh basil, and lots of it, there we are. It's just gorgeous, let's have a little taste, here we go. Mm. Actually, that's heaven. I mean, that's vegetarian heaven. Now, it's just a matter of serving up. Lay the lovely mushrooms and veg in their creamy rich sauce onto that fried slice of bread we prepared earlier, and don't be stingy. Finally, a light sprinkling of paprika adds a further dimension to the dish, and we're finished. A stunning but simple vegetarian meal using chicken of the woods and vegetables from my own garden. Fantastic. Don't forget, you can watch more of my episodes from Mike's Wild Kitchen on YouTube just by clicking on the links below.